Hi everyone, Tara here, Planner Llama. Welcome back and welcome if you are new. I am planning in my Recollections hardcover and it is for the week of May 11th to the 17th. I will be pulling in some marble headers from Coffee Brain Plans as well as I'm challenging myself not to use an Etsy kit. I will be using stickers from my Free Spirit collection from the Happy Planner. I was drawn to this particular page right here with the foiling. So we're gonna jump into it and hopefully. Hey guys, guess what happened? My audio cut out again. So I ended up having to switch over to my cell phone. And here I'm laying down the marble headers from Coffee Brain Plans. I will link the shop information down below. And unfortunately, my battery kept cutting out constantly with my cell phone. Even with the charger plugged in, I was having some issues. Here are some beautiful washi tapes from So Cute Planner. I will link her shop down below. She is one of my favorite shops to get um, washi from. And... I'm going to start by putting down some full boxes. I'm going to have to white out some of the pink as I don't want it to come through on the sticker because it was a pretty light colored sticker. So aside from camera problems and battery problems, I also had, well actually I can't say aside from it because I'm about to tell you, I also had memory card problems. Uh, for some reason while recording it was saving to the file on my phone and not going to my SD card. So I had some difficulty with that. So after some playing around with it, I was able to get this camera to cooperate with me so I can get this filmed. I was flipping through this book an awful lot. I absolutely love the entire book. I did find this read completely challenging as it had no direct, this is your bottom washi, this is your headers, full boxes, etc. So it was a process to go mixing through. And I knew that this week I wanted to take it fairly easy. Um, I am recovering from having allergies. Uh, at one point I thought it was the flu, but I'm pretty certain now it was hay fever. Because as soon as I gave in to taking uh, allergy medication, I started feeling a lot better uh, within a day or two. And normally I do not want to take allergy medication, one, because even non-drowsy makes me drowsy and I will sleep for a long period of time and feel groggy for a good chunk of the next day. And also I don't want to raise my blood pressure up too much either. So with all that, this week I wanted it to be as easy as I can make it. So Monday I did a quick shop run out to the grocery store. I believe I popped over to the bank and also I popped into Tim Hortons to get my new obsession which is the ice cap and it is flavored maple. It is so good and I love having whipped cream in my ice cap as it is but to have it with the maple flavoring inside the ice cap and the maple uh, sugar on top Oh my god, it is amazing. I highly recommend trying it. And it smells so good. Anyone that gets into the car with me when I have one, they're like, oh, I smell maple. And I'm like, it's my drink. <laughs> and no, you cannot have it. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, on Tuesday, it is my typical cleaning day. I try to get everything organized for trash and recycle. And I know that our recycle is going to be changing um, they're going to change up the system of how it's done. From one week, it's going to be paper products. The following week, it's going to be other products. So I'll be waiting for the schedule for that. And also, I believe we're going to need different recycle bins too. So it'll be interesting to see how I could use the old recycle bin then. Uh, here, I wanted to pull in the washi ahead of time. I figured that I had enough of a base down that I could see the colors. I did add the little blue moons to it. Um, I really liked it and then I thought, you know, I, I want to put down more of the kind of ombre star one. And you will see the camera cut out. I did put down more of the blue moons just because I wanted to break it up a little bit. I think it looks good. It's just it was missing a little something. So later on you'll see me adding washi to the top part just to bring it in a little more. The long weekend is coming up. That's 
here in Ontario. I'm not sure if it's celebrated throughout Canada. I would think it would be because we have ties with the monarchy in England. So I would think it's throughout Canada because it's to celebrate Queen Victoria's birthday. I'm not 100% on that though. Maybe some of my fellow Canadians could comment down below and let me know if you guys have a long weekend coming up. A lot of us Canadians call it the May 2-4 weekend. We typically use it as an excuse to get together and do uh, tailgates or barbecues or camping trips. Unfortunately, with everything going on with the pandemic, I don't see that happening. Although here in Ontario, we've been given the the okay to use our brains. <laughs> That's a scary thought. <laughs> to get together with family like we know each other's health better than anything we know our parents health so we were told to keep it to a very minimum maybe keep it within a family bubble and just be cautious and to use our heads um that's saying a lot for some people unfortunately i do worry that our um premier's words may be misunderstood by some people and they may think it's just back to business as usual so i guess we'll see throughout the next five to six days what's going to play out i did have to flip my planner upside down a whole lot while planning here uh, it was a tricky plan with me um so let's see here you will see me pulling this list full box up as I started realizing, wait a minute, I'm going to have two uh, lists on top of one another, plus beside one another. What did I do wrong here? And it's because I did not put down my full box and I tried to save it, but I pressed down on it and therefore it snagged the paper, ripped the sticker, and I just said, it's a loss, throw it out. <laughs> And here I am moving the mic, so you probably heard that, and I apologize for that. So the weather has been really, really strange here. We actually had snow, and then we had hail, and then the temperatures warmed up, and then we had hail, and this is all in one day. So I'm not sure what the long weekend is going to bring, but I hope it brings nice weather. I have noticed that the cherry blossoms or apple blossom are starting to turn dark pink buds so I think it could be within the next week or two before we actually see um, them blooming. I'm really hoping I don't miss the prime time. I love getting photos. I love the smell of them and I love being near them. So I'm really hoping that I don't miss it this season. Down here when I was decorating my sidebar I wanted to make sure I pulled in some of the darkness as it appears throughout the planner spread. So I wanted to pull it in over here as well. I also wanted to use the other two uh, skinny washies and pull them into the planner just to add a little more of the foiling color and also other washi in there as well. I decided to put the washi up near the top and you'll see me cutting it and then the camera will cut because I did uh, lose battery again at this point and what I did was I decided to cut it off camera what I did was I folded it in half and I used that fold line to run my exacto knife very carefully across it and I think that when you see it all pulled across near the top there it really does make a difference and pulls the spread better together so if you're not already following me on Instagram please do so um, I would really appreciate it. It's planner.llama. I will be posting any new products. And I do do an appre I do do. <laughs> I do an appreciation post every now and then where I will see other shops that I really like or I stumble on and I'll like their work and I want to share it with everyone so you can see the love that I have for them and maybe find yourself a new shop as well as I'm going to be on a no spend until July, until the next Made in Canada Planner Collab, I am going to have a hard time waiting that out, but I'll just make a wish list and I'll revisit it and see if I still want everything and I will go from there. 
So sticking to a very tight planner budget is going to be difficult, but it can be done. And it's going to help that I have Happy Meal on the way from the last sale. And with how slow that our post has been here, it's going to be really fun when it comes in. Kind of like I just placed the order and it came. So hopefully that will hold me over. I want to challenge myself to use more of my sticker books and not Etsy kits. So that will be coming too. Thank you all for joining me. This is my planner layout. And I hope that you enjoyed watching. Happy planning. Goodbye.